Hello everybody, it is 6.05 in the morning today and uh, we're gonna do another vlog. Seems like people are tired of constant sports content, which makes sense, so uh, today we'll try and do something different, although I'm not sure what we're gonna do. First things first though, we gotta take care of the animals. All right, go get it done. There's the other kitty, by the way, for those who have never seen Miss Cleo Bean. Such an odd creature. Now I brush my teeth. And now I'm gonna convert my messy living room into my gaming sanctuary. And boom, just like that, we're ready to play God of War at six o'clock in the morning. Yo, what's up, pimp? Kitty, kitty. Still early. Ah. I suppose I could show you guys this. Every morning, Charlie must get his friskies. You want your friskies, buddy? All right, Gingy got his coffee now. And we are gonna go game until Emily goes to work at probably eight o'clock. Oh, Kratos. This game is just as good the second time you play it. Arguably even better because you can actually freely explore without worrying about missing something. Absolutely love this series. Oh, Buxton's here to join me too. Hello, bucko. It's way too early to be talking to me like that. Fair enough. Just checking in, 7 a.m., still going strong. Uh, I just did a side quest that I was Definitely way under leveled for, but I got it done. So uh, yeah, we're booling. All right, so uh, we're actually gonna get the day started a little bit earlier than I planned. It's only 7.30, but she went to work already. Which means Buxton goes on his walk. Is that your favorite time of the day? Sure as hell ain't mine, it's freezing outside. Go get him, killer. See you in a couple hours, asshole. <laughs> Yeah, I love this. <laughs> Good old Minnesota. You know, people who take ice baths for fun, you're fucking crazy. One person enjoys this though, and it's Buxton. Oh, Buxton doesn't understand that kids are watching. Anyway, Buxton loves his morning dumpies and his morning walk. Okay, now that that part, what the hell? Okay. Anyway, now that that part of the day is done, we're gonna go crank the heat up to 150 degrees. Uh, Dude, this cat has thumbs. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but she has thumbs. Thumb kitty. Her name is Cleo, but Emily calls her Cleo Bean. So I call her a Cleus Cabanus. I love this cat too much, man. Also, I take great pride in my contribution to the gifts under the tree. I think Emily has one to my like 10. Hers are all just in the mail still, so it's not her fault. Bro, get down. All right, so now we're to the part of the day where I would usually start working on my video, but like we already are working on my video, so I just gotta start doing stuff. And I know later on today, we are gonna go Christmas shopping. I am gonna do a food review. I'm just not sure where yet. And as for right now, oh, I don't really know. The house is actually kind of clean. Obviously I can tidy up blankets and stuff, but uh, I can wrap my mom's Christmas present. You guys wanna see it? Mom, if for some reason you're watching this, you need to fast forward a minute right now, I swear. But uh, she wanted these boots from L.L. Bean. I gotta go get her some other small stuff, but uh, yeah, we're gonna try and wrap this box. So believe it or not, I've actually, I can't believe I'm in this position, but believe it or not, I've actually gotten like respectable with my gift wrapping over the years. I hate it, but like, I'm not bad. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. My dope Grinch wrapping paper. So what you wanna do, flatten out some of the paper. The key to gift wrapping is you don't need as much as you think you need. So you take your box and you put it like, I, I don't know, most gift wrappings have this grid. I like to think about three or four from the edge. I'm actually gonna rotate the box though so the paper can cover it. Make sure you have it the right way. Then you grab your scissors and you cut it on the same dimension on the other side. So three or four blocks, whatever this is at, which is four. <laughs> now it's cut free, right? Grab your tape, pull one end of the paper over the box so it like meets in the middle. Like this, just one piece of tape, not a whole roll, right in the center. Now repeat it with the other side. It should cover the whole box. And we're like 30% done. Now the ends, this is where everyone fucks up, but it's cake. Take the top and push it in and make it flush. Then crease the corners out like this. You should have a couple of nice flat edges, as you can see. Fold them in, flatten the side, crease the bottom, repeat on the other side, get one piece of tape, just one. Take this bottom lip now, pull it up, piece of tape on top, and repeat the other side. Boom, congratulations, you just wrapped a present. And like I said, it's not perfect, but it's respectable. All right, now I'm having a little breakfast and just thinking about what I should buy the people who haven't told me what to get them for Christmas yet, <coughs> my brother. But yeah, this breakfast is, is pretty good. It's the American classic. Buttered toast, eggs with S&P, couple grapes, some milk. Makes me strong like bull. There was salt on that grape, and actually, it's kind of good. 
All right, so I did just tidy up the entire house and it's like nine o'clock now and we do have errands to run, but I'm actually gonna have one more cup of coffee and play just a little bit more God of War because I haven't had a laid back quiet morning like this in a long time and it's actually really nice. Try doing that with a cat on one of your hands. All right, it's 9.30, I had my fun. Time to get dressed and go. Should we get changed GTA style? Ta-da! We ain't wearing this hat though. Where is it? We're wearing this hat, my favorite hat. Well, currently. So we have a chore list in the kitchen. Well, not a chore list, but a shopping list. And that's what we're gonna go do before we Christmas shop. And it's always right here. And that's a fucking fun one. Paper towels, gallon bags, coffee, candles. I got the expensive shit. But it's gotta be done. All right, so we're just gonna go to Walmart right now and get all the household stuff out of the way. And then after that, we'll go to the mall and probably Shields where I'll get 90% of every Christmas gift every year. Looking for a nice gift? Go to Shields. You looking for a gift card? Go Go to Shields. Your person likes golfing? Go to Shields. Person likes hunting or fishing? Go to Shields. Your person likes Nike, Under Armour, Air Jordan, New Balance sweatshirts? Go to Shields. Yeah, they might be expensive, but they fucking have everything for everybody, dude. Oh my gosh. Worst store ever. I don't have a cart, so. Dude, I saw someone in there with tattooed eyeballs. It was fucking crazy. <laughs> they look scary as hell, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if that was their goal or not, but I, I would never mess with them. Like tattooed black, like his eyes were black. It was, it was, <laughs> oh! Anyway, we're done with Walmart now and going to Shields. It's crazy, like I don't even entertain looking around in Walmart anymore. I get in and I get out. There's always about three couples screaming at each other. Couple people who will catch you by surprise, like the guy I saw with black eyes. No employees ever know where anything is. They're always just gonna ask someone else and you never see them again. It's just not a good store. All right, so we're at my mall now, and um, yeah, this is Shields, but it's actually like an enormous mall. Come on, Grandma and Grandpa. But it's kind of sad because this mall is probably going out of business within the next five years or so. They're extremely in debt. Shields will probably stay open, but the rest of the mall, I, I really don't think so. All right, so we're here now, and one thing I've noticed about distant relatives, cousins, and people you don't really know that well, just get them hats, gloves, scarves, blankets, socks, something like that. All right, Emily's parents are taking care of socks and scarves. And since I know everyone's shields looks different, ours is boring, it just has a big tree. Oh, here's another you can't go wrong gift, fucking yetis. I mean, my goodness. All right, so we got our stuff. I actually almost dumped everything and just got five mugs, but I wasn't about to be that guy. Getting three people the same thing when they don't see each other when they open them, that's one thing. Getting five people the same thing and a lot of people are gonna see each other when they open them, that's another thing. We do have to run to Kohl's now because my mom, mom, if you're watching, stop. But she needs these fuzzy socks, specifically Columbia brand, because my mom gets what my mom fucking asked for. So now we're gonna go to Kohl's and get those and then I think we're gonna do our food review. I've gotten really into spicy chicken sandwiches lately, so I think I'm gonna go try and find one I haven't had. And there is a Chick-fil-A near me, so I wonder if they have one. I've never really had Chick-fil-A. Well, I shouldn't say I haven't had Chick-fil-A. I've had it. It was just right when it opened here, like eight years ago. Haven't had it since. All right, here we go. Every kid's worst nightmare, fucking Kohl's. Dude, as a kid, this store blows ass. As an adult, it still blows ass. It's gonna smell like old people in depression. Oh gosh. Mission accomplished. And that right there is why Kohl's is hell. I had two things and I waited 20 minutes. Dude, that sign said 10. No, that was bullshit. Now I want a chicken sandwich. Uh, is that normal? Like, that can't be normal for Chick-fil-A's to just have cows doing this, right? Like, well, what the hell? Is it also normal for Chick-fil-A to take, like, 10 years to take your order? Like, I, I, I don't know. I came here and there was five people in front of me, but they shouldn't be taking eight minutes. Like, I still haven't ordered yet. Uh, good. I just would like a number two with a lemonade. All right, I got the Chick-fil-A. First things first, though, we got to try this legendary lemonade I keep hearing about. See if Giannis is right. It's weird. Now it is time for a Chick-fil-A fry. You gotta dip it, right? Oh yeah. 
Okay, so I'm, I'm going to be honest. So far, I'm giving the lemonade a six. I don't really like it. It has a really weird kind of funky taste to it. Fries, I'm going to give a seven out of ten because, like I said, they, they taste great. Just I wish they were a little bit more crispy. Now we got the spicy chicken sandwich. It doesn't feel very big. It doesn't look very big either. It isn't very big. It's really small. And there's absolutely nothing on it. This sucks. <laughs> like, this is really bad. I'll put some sauce on it. Maybe give it a personality, but this this isn't good. Actually, really disappointed. Little more flavor now with the sauce, but it's not spicy at all. And I'm a bitch, by the way, so that tells you something. And the chicken doesn't taste that good. Like, this is a this is a 5 out of 10, man. This whole meal, I would say, is a 5 and a half. I know I'm going to get a bunch of shit for saying that about the beloved Chick-fil-A, but on my next tier list, I'm going to say it's really overrated. This is nothing compared to Popeye's. All right, now I'm home, and it's about to be time for Buxton's uh, third walk of the day. Actually, it's his second, but we already played catch twice, so technically it's third. Be honest, after this, I don't really got much left, so I'm probably just going to edit the footage I have when we get back from our walk, and uh, I guess we'll see where we go from there. And we're actually just going to end the video from there because it's 2 o'clock right now, which is usually when you guys get to watch these videos, meaning this is going to be late. So I'm going to go ahead and get this uploaded so you guys can still see it today. Feel free to drop any suggestions that you guys want to see me do in future vlogs now that I can vlog again. I've had some great suggestions like MOA, Top Golf, ETC. I'm open to anything. Anyway, that's all we got for today, though. Show any support. You know I appreciate it. And as always, I will see you in the next video.